Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing some Minecraft and I am going to be showing you a little bit of a daily routine with two horses at the King's Landing barn. Now if you guys don't know this barn, I did put out a Ko-Fi listing where you guys can go ahead and purchase this barn for yourself. It is an absolutely stunning property and I've had so much fun playing on it the last couple of days. So I wanted to share some of my gameplay of me checking out the barn and riding some horses in it. Today we have two horses to try out. Right now it is very early in the morning to the point where it is still dark out, which is a little bit spooky on the property, but since I have two horses, it's I'm not completely by myself, so... I'm a little bit scared of the dark. It's completely fine. The first thing that we're going to go do is we're going to go ahead and start the feeding schedule and go out and check on Steve, who is out in one of the individual pastures overnight. And then I'm also going to be checking on Chariot, who is in his stall, probably fast asleep, and he most likely has already eaten everything in his stall and he has probably left it a little bit of a mess for me. So today is going to be filled with a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go into the feed room and prepare a little bit of feed for the horses before the sun starts rising. We have an early start for today, so I don't want to waste any time. Let's get that feed going. Alright, so I do have an empty bucket that I need to fill with water because I currently don't have any. So I need to go head over to the spigot. That's the wash stall, but we're not going to talk about it. You know, water is water. doesn't matter if it's being used on the horses or the buckets. I'm going to really quickly check on Chariot. Gotta be sneaky so he doesn't wake up. Oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping alright. Let's go and head over to the individual pastures. I'm going to go this way because it's prettier this way. And go right through here. Usually Chariot wakes up when someone comes into the barn because he's so excited for food. But I think I got to the barn early enough where Chariot wasn't awake. Over here at the individual pastures. Steve is in here. I don't care if I wake up Steve. He has to get up anyways to eat. He is over there sleeping. He's over there napping. Oh, I love when he tucks himself up against the fence. I didn't put a rug on him because out in the pasture right now it's summertime so it's nice and warm and inside the barn it's like a little bit air conditioned and it can sometimes get a little chilly. And Chariot also has a really bad habit of rolling in the gross shaving so we put a rug on him every single night. But Steve, he can go without a rug. Steve can go without a lot of things. Steve, the only thing Steve can't go without is dinner. He actually didn't even eat his last bale. But I am going to go ahead and fill up his water trough because he drinks a lot of water. He has to digest the food that he eats somehow, you know? It's so peaceful just to sit out here and watch the sun rise little by little, especially when you have a sleeping pony right here. All right. Oh, he's getting up. Oh, I caught it. I'm so happy. There's some water over there and some hay for you. See, Steve isn't usually one to skip dinner, but since I tamed him because swim horses untamed eat a lot for some reason, he hasn't been eating a ton. So I think the Steve meme is basically over. <laughs> Your water levels, bud, are crazy. We need to get you some water ASAP. I'm gonna carry him over there. Yeah, that's right, guys. I lift. It's bulking season. Oh, there you go. Okay, he's found the water. I was a little bit worried for his water levels, but he's found the water and he has food over here. I'm gonna go see Chariot because by now Chariot should have woken up in his stall and I'm sure that he is very, very hungry right now. Chariot is always one of the first horses to wake up for breakfast, especially when there is a lot of people in the barn. Currently, King's Landing only has two horses here boarded, but we really do hope to have more horses here soon. This is going to be Luna's main barn on her plot, so it is completely up to her, you know, who boards the barn and everything and how many horses she has. Hello, Chariot. Okay, you have went this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up with the spigot. The spigot's really helpful when it is over a bucket because you just right click it and then it just fills up the bucket and then they can just continue drinking like he's probably about to. We're gonna go and get his tack ready. First thing that I need is a bridle. 
I use the black bridle for him usually when I am going to tack him up because he responds better with a bridle when he's in the cross ties. If he was good with a halter in the cross ties, everything would be great, but he's not. And we have his tack, which is the red English blanket, the red English leg wraps, and the black English set, the brush, and then a carrot. Chariot likes his carrots. Which is funny because he is a chestnut horse. <laughs> we also have to get his rug off and put it on the rack. So I'm going to have to do that before I bring him to the grooming stall because I don't want to have to carry a heavy rug all the way back to the rack. All right, bud. There you go. Let's go put that on the rack. All right, that is done for. And let's bring him to the cross ties in order to get him all ready to go. Let's go. Come on. We have to get out there before it gets too hot. All right, we need to give him a good brush because knowing Chariot, he's probably rolled in all of his shavings by now. And I already know half of those shavings are not clean. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Messy, messy horse. You want a carrot? Yeah. Uh, so saddle pad, saddle, girth, so that the saddle doesn't fall off. I know, crazy that we need that. Red English leg wraps, and then a black English breast collar. I'm gonna go ahead and put the brush in the grooming chest because I will need it after the ride as well, unless I decide to hose him down, which I might do because today is probably going to be a hot day. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful outside. It is gorgeous out here. I can't see much because I'm short, but the arena is stocked full of stuff, which is nice because I'm very excited to be able to warm Chariot up. And then we're gonna be showing the secret trail in just a moment. I completely forgot my helmet and my boots, so we're gonna go and grab those because I need my helmet before I ride and I want my boots before I ride. Gotta get those grippers on. All right, Chariot, I'm on my way back. I'm on my way, dear. Where is Chariot? Okay, he's in the same place. I can see him from here. I don't know, I couldn't really see him because the fence was a little bit high, but he is taller than the fence. Yeah, we got the helmet and the boots. We got the drip, the equestrian drip on. I need another little. Well, that was very rude of you. I was about to mount up. Can you, um, can you just come over here, please? Just like right, right here. Like literally just right here for me to mount up. Oh my gosh. Wait, you kind of, <laughs> kind of listened. <laughs> we are going to do a little bit of a warm up because Chariot, if he is pushed too soon, of course, after the initial warm up, he will eject me from the saddle and i don't want that i don't want to die today also chariot's stats are pretty good um he is jump three speed three and health three and he's also willing so i'm hoping to get that up a little bit more today these jump heights you can see are fit for his jump level they could be level three but i don't want to push him over what he's comfortable with and currently chariot is comfortable with jumping level two also, like I said, we will be going onto the trail later today. I may take Steve as well if Steve is feeling up to it, but knowing Steve, he'll probably just want to go out into the pasture with Chariot, so I may just respect his wishes. There is a little bit of a jump there. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. It's so peaceful riding here because the trees surround the place, so it's like just calming. Like the whole vibe is just so calming. Playing with friends at this barn is so fun because you guys can just help each other out with all the horsey stuff. We have the two lunging pens, so if you guys want to RP there, it's great. There's also a lot of spaces for a lot of horses. For the people who love hoarding horses, <clears throat> me, there are 17 stalls, so that is a lot of stalls for only two horses here currently. Okay, okay. Don't be a brat. You are giving pumpkin level energy right now, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> pumpkin and you would be best friends, Chariot. Best friends. Oh, okay, that was a big one. That one was unnecessary. Oh my gosh. No, but actually... <laughs> the kicks. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try bringing him up to a canter. Okay, canter's going well. He did kind of fuss at a trot too, so I don't know if... Am I the problem? You're just not liking me as your rider? He looks so pretty in the sunlight though. Poor jump setup. I'm probably not going to end up using those trotting poles. I might break a few of them because I need some more space in between. Otherwise, it'll be like really inconsistent and I want him to have space in between to collect himself. And swim horses are big horses, so we're gonna need a lot of space. Okay, let's try going up to a canter. Yeah, let's go. God, I'm so proud of him. I think he's starting to get the rhythm. I'm going to attempt the poles that Luna has set up, but like I said, I I have no idea if these will work. I'm going to go over them in a trot. They were they were something. I'm going to hop off of chariot right here and go and destroy these guys or like some of them. I'm going to do I do one in between. Yeah, I'm just gonna have three. Okay, you know what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Little too excited. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my inventory so I can see the jump bar. I know a lot of you guys prefer this without inventory, but I need the inventory because jump bar, you know? Oh my gosh, he actually jumped when I pressed space. All right, let's try this jump right here. Oh, that was actually a beautiful jump. Okay, that was my fault for clipping that one, but that was a really good jump as well. I love these jump designs so much. Luna did an amazing job on them. And here's the yellow one. This one's my favorite. Oh, I clipped that one. That's okay. He's doing amazing so far. I'm going to go ahead and turn my inventory off because I'm pretty confident in my jumping abilities. And then we're going to jump some fences. All right, maybe not. This is a jump. You have to jump it, you know. Let me try the other way because I think it's meant to be jumped the other way. That one was way better. There you go. I'm proud of you. Okay, so I think he's a little bit spooked of some of these jumps because it's so sudden when he refuses. I was a little bit close to that jump, so I'm gonna wrap around and try that again. I'm gonna go around the long way so he has time to prepare and so that he's not completely spooked. Beautiful, okay, let's try this one, please. That one was way better, so much better. Very cool. Oh, beautiful. That one was really good. All right, so now we're going to try something very cool. Maybe he'll do this jump? No, okay. He was like, I don't know about that one, mom. I'm sorry, Chariot. Let me wrap you back around and try that again. Chariot is a little bit wary of this fence, which understandable, we haven't tried it yet, but this is to the Hunter Derby Trail. We're going to go slow around these curves because they are pretty quick curves. At least the first one was. I don't know about these. Okay, he may not do this one. Yeah. I was about to say, he's he's never done these jumps before. Let me go ahead and bring him through to the jumps to make sure he knows the jumps. I'm about to get glitched under this bush. I don't like the little bush brush whenever I go underneath low branches. And then the trail continues back to the barn. So there's only two, well, technically three jumps because one is an entrance jump. What we're going to do is we're going to go back around and we're going to try and do the full trail without him refusing. I love these branches. This is great. Also, do you want to go and check on Steve really quick? Hi, Steve. Oh, he's coming over to the fence. Oh, hi, Steve. 
Hi, my pretty boy. <laughs> All right, I will come back for Steve shortly. Let's finish this and get Chariot to finish this course, this trail, and then I will get him cooled down and then set out to the pasture. Chariot always goes into the pasture after a good workout, after he is properly cooled down, which is perfectly safe for him to go into the pasture after a workout unless it is too hot out. Right now, it is the perfect temperature, um, but soon it'll be too hot for both of them to be out, so I'm gonna try and get it done. Okay, that one was a big old jump. <laughs> okay, Chariot, you got this. You got this. Okay, Whew. that one was good too. I'm a little bit nervous. This one is a big scary jump. It's very long. Mm -hmm. It's okay, that's okay. It happens sometimes. That one is a very wide jump. I said long, but I meant wide. It is a very wide jump and I feel like it would be scary to even me. Okay, he just really doesn't like this jump. So I'm gonna go to an extended canter, see if that helps. Okay, he just needed the speed. <laughs> he just needed the speed, so good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cool Chariot down. We're gonna get him back to a walk for a little bit, and then we're gonna bring him over to the pasture. I usually just walk him all the way over to the pasture um, and then walk him down the trail a little bit all the way down to the entrance and then release him into one of those pastures because by then it gives him time to cool down. I mean, he did really well. We barely worked out at all other than some light jumping. He saw some scary spooky jumps, so that was fun. We're gonna go down this way because I really like this way down the path. And then you can see the view of the pastures from here and the side of the barn. He has taken his time to go into the pasture with Kingsley, because Kingsley is over there. If you guys did end up purchasing King's Landing, Kingsley does come with the barn. Uh, it was not completely intentional, but nobody has complained yet that Kingsley is at their property when they spawn into the world. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Oh, sir. Sir. You cannot just start walking away. I need to untack you. I'm gonna put a hitching post there because I hate how you can't like access the fences at all. I'm gonna take all your tack off. Oh, drop some stuff, oopsies. Um, I'm going to keep the halter off of him for pasture safety. Since Chariot is a very rambunctious horse in the pasture. Um, okay, you can't graze there, buddy. Here, come on. Come on. Let's go into the pasture. I did not bring a lead with me. You know what I can do? I can... Well, do you want to go into the pasture yourself or do you want me to bridle you? Okay, he just wants to graze the random patches of grass on the gravel. I don't think that's completely safe. Do you want to go in yourself? Look, it's, it's nice and green, all that grass. You just want to graze right here. All right, there you go. Now you can graze. Yeah, look, you can graze inside of the pasture. Rest in peace all the grass outside of the pasture. You're turning into Steve right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put some bales on the ground for him if you want some food. And he has a trough somewhere in here. I don't know if it's in the back or not. Oh my God. Steve is imprinted, guys. It's contagious. Kingsley, my boy. I love how the vanilla mules look. Oh, hi. Kingsley spoke to me. You are the cutest mule. Don't tell Bartholomew mule I said that, though, please. Why are you looking at me like that, though? The eye contact is intimidating. Oh, okay. Kingsley is going on his way. I'm going to escape the pasture. You have fun, chariot. I will bring Steve out shortly. We're going to go ahead and do a good workout with Steve because Steve needs to lose a little bit of grazing weight because he has been snacking. I don't know if you guys saw my swim update video, but he has eaten a lot compared to a lot of my other horses. 
And usually I wouldn't really care because Steve, like I said with Chariot, he is a big horse, but eating a little too much in the pasture, that is only going to make it a little bit more difficult for him to be fit and ready to show this summer. So I'm gonna bring Steve over to the arena and go for a little bit of a flats warm up. I'm going to go green and recycle and reuse and use Chariot's tack for Steve because they have the same saddle. All right, hey dude, Steve. I'm gonna, hey listen, I need to, I need to brush you down. I need you to stay, Steve, Steve. I need to stay still. Steve, Steve, Steve. Imagine if I just mount up in the pasture with a bale of hay. Oh my gosh, Steve, this is perfect opportunity. Come here. Aha. Steve is like, I'm tired of this woman. You gotta admit, Steve, that was pretty cool technique right there. Oh my gosh. Man fit perfectly. There we go. Let us continue. Oh, good old shake. I'm sorry I interrupted your shake. We're going to go over to the arena where Riley put down dressage letters, and I'm going to be trying to use that since it's a bigger arena. I'm going to use the outer part of the arena to give a good workout to Steve, and then we'll do some laps around the property. Since this property goes all the way around, I feel like it's best to do some warm up in the arena and then do a little bit of a workout around the property. If you can see the property right here, there is a loop from here all the way around and there's also a loop from here all the way around so like you can do several workouts with your horses depending on how much you want to do i love how there's just like that random dot horse poop thank you for letting me know that there is just one pile of horse poop and chariot stall so kind of you i love how you can see kingsley in the pasture as well you can even see him moving oh he is on the run i hope he doesn't beat up chariot steve uh, he's brand new and I'm a little bit scared because the same thing happened with Tara May Sue where I was like, oh, she seems like a sweetheart. And then she tried to kill me. So a um, little bit nervous about that. So we're going to take it nice and slow and we're going to walk him out for a little bit and then we'll bring it up to a trot in a little bit. This arena compared to the other arena is a lot bigger. There's a lot more space in here especially for like a lot more people. This would be perfect for like a little group of people riding. I really do hope that we can make more Ko-Fi barns like this where you guys can enjoy these barns on your own server or single player world. Bro, was that me? I think that was me. I think I world edited something wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna keep him trotting for a lap or two because I really do think that he needs a good warm up before we continue on to go around the track. I don't wanna bring him up to a full gallop today. I wanna try and stay at an extended canter at most because I think a gallop is a little too much for him and especially for me as well because I'm kinda new in the saddle with this horse. This large arena makes it way easier to canter Usually in smaller arenas, you have to like turn corners every like three seconds, but this one, even with like wide turns, you can still have a good bit of length before you hit the next corner. I like that. Look at this pretty horse. So pretty. Okay, let's start our adventure. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him at a canter for now, and we're going to head around towards the lunging pens because I feel like that is the best way to go. And we'll go across the grass for now because there's no path just yet. We're going to do a little ride by chariot and kingsley oh my gosh i'm on the bush okay so he's not ready to go up to extended just yet that was him saying no there we go i forgot with the low level how much slower they are than faster swim horses because you know every time you level up a swim horse they eventually begin to get quicker but since he is like level one with everything uh yeah it's gonna take a minute and also we have 
a big limit for every single one of them and I'm probably going to up it when members get access to the server. They are going to have to really work to get their horses leveled. There's of course going to be training businesses like I know Riley's going to be doing a training business but I want people to have to actually work for their horses leveling rather than just ride their horse in a straight line for like 10 minutes and then be done with leveling for one or two levels. And a lot of horse shows are going to depend on what level your horse is since age is not really something that exists on the horses right now. So the levels are going to determine what kind of rank your horse is or what kind of riding level your horse is in each discipline. Rank is probably not the best word to use, but yeah. If we went past somebody, all they'd hear is meow. All right. Yeah, go on into the pasture. Look at you go. Why can't they go in themselves? Like, it just acts like they can't fit. Oh, there you- well, yeah, you got the spirit. He went in there all by himself. Look at you go. Well, I want to come in with you. I'm just gonna scooch right here. Alright, Steve. I love your new technique, levitating. Uh, that is very interesting of you. Oh, that is, that is a cool trick. I am such a proud pixelated horse mom. So I need to go and muck out chariot stall and also finish up some more barn chores before I bring them in for the day. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because it has been a day so far and I'm excited to go ahead and edit this and get it ready and show you guys the King's Landing Barn. If you guys are interested in this barn, it will be in the description. You guys can head over to my Ko-Fi. It has a sample video as well to show exactly what is in the barn. And I'm excited to see your guys' opinion on it. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and you stay healthy and safe and hydrated. And I will see you in the next video or stream. Wasted.